Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the next episode of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, the New Journey Plus playthrough. Appreciate all the support with this playthrough so far. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get upload alerts for all the gameplay on the channel. Let's get right back into it. Otherwise, we're just going to keep going here. Hello, there, Gordica. We're doing this again. We already had this battle once. Do you want to die again? Before I fall off the map? There we go. Alright, now we can bring this down. Nice. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Damn. Wasn't expecting it to go up automatically. That was funny. Alright, so this is where we fought that dude with the hammer. And funny enough, we had... Well, maybe that was the other side. No, it was, maybe he's up here, actually. Because I've rested, so he should have spawned back in if he was over here. That could be a different area. Centauri, your work is unparalleled. But sending a droid instead of facing me yourself, such cowardice. A small price to pay for her sparing your life. Tell me, did the Jedi's death satisfy you? He escaped. All those years of incarceration dull your edge. Sharp enough to see the Jedi might be your equal. Say it again and I'll cut out your tongue. It'll grow back. <laughs> Dagon, listen. The Jedi is a threat. Not now that we have this. I already duplicated the device's frequencies. We can now access any site she sealed. Well done, Ravis. You. Activate the forest array. Go to the Shattered Moon. I know where Centauri hid the last compass. Dagon. After you have it, I will consider my oath to you fulfilled. What then, old friend? The galaxy has changed. There are many wars, but little honor to be won from them. Once we are on Tantalor, perhaps we can dream up a new war. You and I. <laughs> perhaps. Before I go, do you want me to scrap the droid? No. Centauri must have purged the droid's memory bank. Has no knowledge of the compass. I will tear it down to the bolts and reprogram it to serve me as it once served her. Dag and Gera is ruthless. We're gonna destroy Z. At least we won't have to deal with her anymore. Alright, bring this up. Let's keep it moving. Shift one more time. Make sure we actually make that jump. Don't need any surprises here. Anything else before we jump down? No, that should be it. Oh yeah, I think I know where we are now. Yep, we got a big fight coming up. Let's see what we get here. Uh, I'm going to take a look at my stances, see what we're going to do here. Alright, so I'm actually just going to keep the stances as they are. So I'm going to just run with the double-bladed. Then we still have the blaster for a little more range. Dagon could be anywhere. Ready, BD? If you're ready, I'm ready. And I'm ready too. Let's go whoop his ass. Z. Alright, Z. Let's get you out of there. To reprogram me. That droid is mine. I suppose I'll rescue myself. So you survived Ravis. How? The usual. You murdered your fellow Jedi. I struck down those who stood against me. Leave us or share their fate. Even if you believe the Council betrayed you, they were still your family. 
How arrogant that you would presume to know what drives me? What I can see is your obsession with Tantalor has blinded you. Whatever happened, you can't change the past. Trust me on that one. Perhaps you're right. The past is a chain. I must sever it completely. <laughs> Oh, how about that? Double bladed versus double bladed. Let's get it. Oh shit. Oh, forgot about that. I sense your fear. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're slipping. Is that right there? Dare you? Really? Shit back. Shit back. We don't need to deal with all that. Force push. There you go. Good block. How slow. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that, Dagon. We're gonna calm that down, buddy. I ain't got time for that. Take some of these hits with you. How do you like my double-bladed stance? Nope. Okay. That thing has some crazy range on it. Do my own iteration of it. Just one sweep. Really, Cal? Sweep. He's over here pulling this thing around for days and a half. And just one sweep for me. That's all right. Trivia. Oh, you're gonna block that? Okay. Hit you. Hit. Go and get that stem going. I'm not giving Dag any chances. I feel like a couple of these hits will probably kill. He's not it. I have not died in combat in a long time. I'd like to keep it that way. Oh no, you don't. Oh, you don't. oh it's unblockable. Damn. That was quick afterwards. Candlewood is mine, and I will strike down anyone who stands in my way. Help me, BD. Almost messed that up. All right, let's see. <laughs> ah, okay, let's take advantage of this. Here we go. Oh, that didn't work. Wow. What was that? Scoot back. Scoot back. Let's try it again. Nice. That worked. All right, so we can bring him down. You don't let me get killed. Another stem. I appreciate you blocking through everything, Dagon. Back up. I don't think so. Calm that shit down. Watch it. Alright, Cal. Alright, Cal. Don't do this to me. Right here, bud. Go. Calm that down. Who are you swinging at? I'm over here. The music. Is it? Almost got stamina busted. There we go. Three lightsaber. He just swings through attacks, man. That's so wild. It's the same lightsaber. He's just swinging through it. Another stem is required. Pathetic. You know, my health is looking better than yours. Okay. Fail. Useless. The only good thing with that is taking some of his stamina down to block it. There we go. Is this going to be the kill? Yes. Back to breath. Oh, this 
the guy you told me about. Yeah. He's as friendly as ever. You've delayed me long enough. You're not getting away that easy. Thanks. Two warriors at the height of their powers bound in brotherhood. This is the stuff of legends. See. Oh my god. Meet you up there. Man. Ruthless battle. I'm telling you, Dagon swings through hits like it's nothing. And the funny part, when he swings through them, he wasn't even doing unblockables. Those were standard swings, breaking through my hits, and then, and then he'd do the unblockable. Uh, just an incredibly tough battle. But I get it, though, because he's from the High Republic, so I mean, he's got intense knowledge of the Force. And then pair that Come with on, the dark side, making moving. you stronger. Perhaps that's why Dagger Garrett is positively mad. He kept going on and on about some compass. Your master created them to navigate the Abyss. This is the first I'm hearing about it. She purged that knowledge from your memory. That would explain it. Well, Dagon is certain that she left a compass for him to find. Let's hope so. Dagon sent Ravis to check out another array on the moon. Maybe we'll find it there. Back to the moon. Great. Yep, we could. Oh, Master Kree. Why did you send me to free that traitor? People are complicated. Maybe she thought the Order got it wrong. If only we could ask her. And now that we have that ability to open, or well, to lift, or you know, to Please let us leave this dreadful place. raise stuff up and throw it down, now we can get that door open back on the shattered moon. So that worked out. All right, let's go ahead and do this next. This should be fun. Save us way out of here. Sure about that? No. Okay then. You seem nervous. I'm going with him. Up aboard, Z. See you at the outpost. Yep, I'm coming. That's wild, but we are finally back over here. Dagon must have sent Ravis to get the compass. Maybe the forest array powers something on the moon. Uh, it's a guess, but if Ravis is on his way there, that's where we need to be too. That's right. All right, so we can go get this, uh, whatever alien this was, we can go get their data pad now. So we'll take care of that real quick before we move back to the outpost. Uh, not sure how I'm going to edit this video, if this one's just going to be like a super long episode or... If this one's going to be fairly short, but uh, yeah, definitely a lot of action in this one either way. Yeah, so from here we'll get this data pad. We'll uh, actually let me get up here real quick. Get there. Nice. I actually managed to Don't lose it all the way up here. Looks like a data pad to me, or what's left of one. You want to pick it up? Come on, let's go break the news. Could have just picked it up for them. All right. Here they are, right here. Bad news, Winnie. Data pad was busted beyond repair. Oh, my designs. They're lost forever. Sorry, Winnie. 
I'll try to scrounge something up for you back at the outpost. Thank you again. Don't mention it. And this is why you back up your data. Come on, Winnie. I guess you should have thought about it. Alright, let's go ahead and bring this up. That's the only sad part. Now we gotta go all this climbing again. It is what it is. We'll get a shortcut set up here soon enough, hopefully. Especially since this thing is progressively sinking while we're doing this. There we go. Awesome. Let's stop here. All right, yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is a super long episode or a fairly short one, uh, but I appreciate you guys and hope you've been enjoying this playthrough. So when we come back, we'll head right back up to the Shattered Moon, and uh, we'll see where the story takes us from there. And we finally have all the abilities. Uh, the only thing, you see those uh, balloon things up top. We still need to learn how to grapple onto those so we can traverse certain areas. Uh, but in terms of doing the force tears, getting to everything else, we should be good now. But uh, once again, I appreciate all the support with this. Hit that like button and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get upload alerts for all the gameplay on the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode.